Hey, Chelsea, what's going on? It's Robin Taron from RHAP. Congratulations on your extremely dominant run in BB26. Uh, my uh, first question for you is that, can you tell us, as we watch you get towards uh, the end game, can you tell us in some of the ways that you might have been using your superior Big Brother knowledge to subtly manipulate uh, the other uh, members of the final three? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the members of the final three and even members of the jury, a, a lot of people weren't really knowledgeable of the game. And so a lot, the final three that I was with thought this is a competition based thing, whoever, you know, beasted it the season and was going to win in the end. And so I knew Cam felt like Mackenzie was more of a threat and um Mackenzie just liked me better than Cam and um and she felt like she was going to win either way because she was a competition beast so they both felt like that being the competition beast was going to be the thing that won i used the knowledge that that is not always accurate to my advantage i let them think that but i knew especially with this cast and this jury that it was going to take more than winning competitions to win this game. So I let them think that and I, I used their, their knowledge and, um, and my knowledge to my advantage and, and glad I did. Yeah. We, we saw you at the, in the final week there talking to Mackenzie about like, yeah, your game speaks for itself. I wouldn't even prepare a speech. I'm not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and she believed that she was very confident about her game, as she should be. The girl won 11 competitions. She was a beast. Flowers to Mackenzie. You can't even knock that. However, I let her believe that that's all she needed. That's all she needed. And uh, when I knew and I read our house guest that that indeed may not be the only thing that she needed. And so y'all know I've been strategic about everything I've done in this house. You know I was rehearsing my speech over and over in my head. So I uh, can't give away, again, like I said the jury, to the jury, I chose to withhold a lot until I needed to mm -hmm. share, and it benefited me. Yeah, your relationship with Mackenzie was obviously very valuable throughout the game. Uh, mm -hmm. In the early portions of the season, when it was you in Brooklyn, it seemed like you two had Mackenzie and Leah kind of on lock. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but but it wasn't it wasn't something that like you were actively pursuing a lot early on. Um, yeah. And you end up losing that Cedric vote. Uh, mm -hmm. When was it that you realized? Wait a minute, hold on. If I can control Mackenzie, I can maybe control the game. Yeah, so uh, week two, when she revealed her power uh, with me when I was HOH, I had a decision. Either I use it against her or I make her my ally. So um, I would say halfway, I'd say when she was on the block with Tucker is when I decided, mm, this girl can hold her weight. Either you go against her or you make her an ally. She vocalized so many times. She just wanted to be loyal to people. So nobody was rocking with her. So I said, if I could protect somebody who is seen as a threat, it is a two-sided win for me. Uh, people will always probably gun after her before me. And if I build trust with her, she will protect me over other people. So it was smart to, to become an ally with that girl. She was a good player. Yeah. Uh, we also saw uh, you said to Mackenzie, you said in the diary room that the Joseph vote uh, that was that was like a last minute uh, swayed by Kimo's speech decision. Um, how much of that was true? How much of that was like because we know that you had discussed it before, too. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously it ends up being like a huge kind of move for you. Mm -hmm. um, what what went into that decision? Was it really just chemo? No, it wasn't really just chemo. Uh, it played a huge role in, in uh, my decision making because um, I liked chemo. And I that was one of the most emotional decisions I've made in this game um, was keeping chemo. However, when I got in that DR in front of Auntie Julie and I knew every eviction matters and I knew Joseph and Quinn were tight. Leah was my biggest target at that time, not chemo. Mm -hmm. So I knew which person it helps Leah's game more. Joseph did. And which person would rather work with me? Chemo. So I'm just going to throw chemo my vote because keeping Joseph around does not benefit me. And that whole week, Joseph had 
clearly stated how uh you know he 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 thought he had the best game in the house so i was just like like dr will that dr will yeah. that he was dr that will. guy that guy the doctor the that that guy no yeah, yeah. So, yeah um it it was emotional but it was also smart uh for me to make that decision and i was willing to risk being on the wrong side because i'm on the wrong side and joseph stays um you know i'm not too much in danger <laughs> mm-hmm um there's been there's been a lot of discussion about your because basically i I can tell when you evicted quinn i was like lock this game up chelsea's got it like (laughs) it was like nobody else was going to evict you um and so i think for a long time we've been discussing like okay chelsea is the winner what does that mean how does she stack up to the greats you know Mm -hmm. um and so uh you know uh, i don't know if you've heard but i think pretty favorably uh (laughs) how do you see your win like like how do you feel about your win as a super fan where do you feel like it fits in yeah i i honestly believe uh i'm i'm shocked at some of the statistics that i heard that wasn't my plan uh my plan was to be a diamond in this game um, to be viewed as multiple perspectives and p- anybody who watched my game, whether my game hurt theirs or not, they can say this is respectable. This is beautiful. And so I've worked very hard and I believe the cast did feel like I played just a well-rounded game competitively. Str- I, the way I put it in my speech was strategically, socially, and skillfully. And in those three areas, usually you see previous players are skilled in one of those categories. I wanted to be skilled in all of those categories. And so I'm shocked that I was able to maneuver myself in a way to um, to play a, a pretty good game in those categories. Yeah. Hey, Chelsea, I, I need to run soon. Uh, what's next for you now that you've won Big Brother? I don't even know, asleep, uh, reconnecting with my family, getting acclimated into the real world world again and going to see some of my students that I've missed over the last three months. That's it. Like I want a sense of normalcy for a little bit and then, uh, and then jump back into the crazy. Okay. All right. Well, yes. con- congratulations again. Uh, job well done Thank and you. all the best to you outside big brother. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Taryn. All right. Take care. Bye.